Fur fans, what's going on? Secure at Alba here from Santa Clarita, California. Currently back home right now during this time. Uh, thank you guys for sending in those questions. Looking forward to, to answering some of them right now. Uh, so let's get this thing rolling. First off, thank you very much. Um, you know, I love my time down in Arizona. Um, it was a great experience for me. Really grateful, really thankful. You know, I, I got to go there. Um, you know, back to the question. Um, you know, it's certainly it's certainly a jump. Um, I felt like the coaches at Arizona prepared us, um, you know, very very well for the change from college ball to you know professional baseball. Um, you know, what? you just got to get used to playing every day. You know, that's the biggest thing. That's where the the mental side of the game I feel like really comes into play. Um, yeah, you know, you're playing 140, you know, 162 games a year. Um, so you really got to get dialed in, you know, with, with your body, you know, make sure you're eating the right things, um, get in the training room, uh, get everything you need, you know, prepared for each day. Um, I feel like that was probably the biggest adjustment. Tough one right here. Um, you know what? I'm going to stick with kind of guys, you know, I liked, um, growing up, I guess, or, you know, even now currently. Um, so Mike Trout would probably be the first one. Um, yeah, no brainer there. Uh, second one, probably Roberto Clemente. Um, not only for what he did as a player, but, you know, who he was as a person, you know, off the field. And obviously, you know, that's, you know, a big impact he made, you know, with us in the Pirates organization. Uh, third one, I've always loved Alex Gordon growing up, man, for, for, the, for the Royals. Um, just who he is, his work ethic. Uh, one of my favorite guys growing up to watch, you know, still like to watch him play. It's a tough one again. Uh, these are good questions. Um, you know, the whole experience is a blast. Um, you know, from the, the players, the coaches you're with, um, just being back in Arizona where I played college ball at, um, it was something definitely special. And like I said, really fortunate, you know, I got to go represent the Pirates. Um, there are a few things that stick out. You know, the All-Star game was definitely one of them. Um, just honestly living with, you know, with the guys and, you know, becoming closer, I guess, as teammates. Um, but I guess the one, the one game that probably sticks out to me is the um, game I, I went and almost had a cycle. It was something really cool. It was one of those special days you have, you know, as a player, you know, on the field. Um, cool people, you know, cool company that was there watching the game. Uh, and overall, that was probably something I'll take away, you know, ne never forget. The Office, hands down. I do love Shark Tank too, but Office probably takes the crown on that one. Um, you know, right now it's, you know, we'd all like to be going playing baseball, um, but we understand, you know, what's going on, you know, right now in the, in the nation, you know, in the world. Um, but you know, I, I've been reading a lot. I have a garage gym, you know, we're, we're utilizing right now to, you know, keep the body right. Um, but you know, honestly, it, it's good to be around family, you know, being home, seeing everybody, um, obviously staying safe during this entire time. Um, it's definitely, you know, a weird situation for all of us. Um, you gotta get creative with, you know, things you do. Um, being outside, using hand sanitizer, you know, staying safe. All right, guys, well, that, that was all of them. So I appreciate you sending in the questions. Um, like I said, stay safe out there and, you know, hopefully baseball season will be back soon, but, uh, have a great day, you guys.